My name is Muhammad Ashari. I work for Institute Technology 10 November or ITS in Surabaya, Indonesia. I graduated from Curtin University at 2002. Since leaving Curtin University, I've got many prestigious career, including as the president in private university in Bandung, and also today I'm the president of ITS. We have worked on everything on robotic. We know that during pandemic, we realize that COVID just came to Indonesia it's around March. We concern about doctors and nurses in hospital. I organize our researchers, students, and also doctors to design and build a robot. This robot helps doctors and nurses to assist in the hospital. This prevents transmission COVID between the doctor and the patient. We also develop a robot for a transportation, call it intelligent car or autonomous car that we use in uh, internally campus. Curtin University gave me international mindset, skill, and other international experience for me. This is very fruitful for us, very fruitful for me. It's very proud for me to be the 2020 winner for Curtin Alumni Award in Innovation. Thank you for Curtin University. Thank you for my dearest supervisor, Professor Chen Nayar. You changed my life. Thank you also for my son who represent me in this night of ceremony and also for my wife and my sons in uh, Indonesia. Thank you very much also for ITS, for my college researcher, students of ITS and also a doctor who involved in our research and also to give a facility for our innovation. We have done everything here, innovation and help others for our country, for people, and also for technology and science. I served as a Secretary General in the Indonesian Psychological Association, and we have a lot of uh, things to solve, like the natural disaster, the terrorism. I developed and established the Curtin University Alumni Chapter for Indonesia. We are trying for the chapter to be able to improve themselves, to grow as a person, to grow as a collective alumni through professional development, through doing social activities together, trying to recognize each other's sort of expertise and to be an ambassador of Curtin in Indonesia. One of the biggest dream that I have is to be able to connect you know, Indonesia and Australia through different activities, be it academic, socially related, but the most important is the people-to-people -people relationship. You get to connect people from 80 years old to 20, 21 years old is something that makes me proud. I'm Fred Benu. I'm graduated from Curtin University in 2003. In 2005, I was appointed as the chairman of Research Institute at University of Nusa Cendana. My career is not only in education institution. And I was appointed as the Commissioner of Regional Development Bank. So I used my knowledge to help uh, sm small and medium enterprises in agriculture sector to help them give, give them a special credit scheme as well and help them to use the credit to improve their welfare as well. And it's quite successful. Since 2013, I was selected as the rector of Nusa Cendana University. But the main challenge is how to use your knowledge to help the community and also solve their problem as well. So that is my role. The main role for me is how to help the people.
Dr. Rahayu Paspasari was appointed President Director of the Indonesian Government Office, Government Property Management of Indonesia in 2017, and is recognized as the first President Director who has succeeded in bringing about a significant change in national infrastructure acceleration programs through land acquisition. Dr. Paspasari's achievements have been recognized on a national level in Indonesia, with her strategic leadership in corporate governance resulting in the reformation of state audit, inventory and valuation of state properties, and assisting in national infrastructure development across Indonesia. Tonight, it's really a big privilege uh, for me to receive the Alumni Achievement Award. So I'd like to thank uh, Curtin uh, University for providing this award. I greatly and sincerely appreciate it. Really, I'm really, really proud of being Curtin alumni. This reward tonight is a huge motivational booster for me, a, personal, a very personal reminder that I am officially a part of Curtin alumni who have collective commitment with all of you to put vision into action, to put and try impossibilities and to make tomorrow a better place. Thank you. Dr. Ahmad Agus Setiawa has been successful in developing water elevation supply systems using solar energy in Indonesia. For his doctoral studies at Curtin University, Dr. Setiawan designed and developed a mini-grid hybrid power and water supply system, which won a UNESCO and Daimler Mondialogo Engineering Award in 2007, with the system successfully installed in an Indonesian area experiencing a shortage of clean water. As assistant professor in the Department of Nuclear and Engineering Physics at Universitas Gajah Mada, Indonesia, Dr. Setiawan works with local communities to implement water supply system technologies more widely. The project engages communities in the in-situ design of water plants, using local labour to construct and maintain the systems. Study in Curtin uh, actually gave me um, plenty of things, not only for myself, but also journey for my family. And learning and studying supported by all professors that are very professional and world class uh, gave me uh, opportunity as well as to, to challenge me to take the opportunity. And the good thing is that uh, when I return to Indonesia, uh, Indonesia is developing and all that I learned from Curtin is much with what we really need in Indonesia at the time. Dr. Sayafullah Muhammad and his team at the Center for Creative Industry in Archer, Indonesia have developed an innovative technology to extract high-quality patchouli oil, known as one of the best essential oils in the world. Dr. Muhammad's initiative has received a grant from the Ministry of Research, Technology and Higher Education to continue the research project for three years. Indonesia is the world's largest producer of patchouli oil. However, farmers in Archer are still living in poverty and facing difficulties in increasing their incomes. Findings from this project will directly support these farmers by enhancing their skills with an aim to support the efficient production of high-quality patchouli oil through advanced technology. I came to Australia at the first time in 2005. Just few months after tsunami disaster in Banda Aceh. At that time, a big question in my head, why I was chosen to be a survivor? But now I think I have the answer. We have to continue our life to do innovation and contribution to our community. Thank you very much to Curtin University. We hope with innovation, we can increase the prosperity of our community in Aceh. 
Thank you very much.